Hello and welcome to Truck and IS. We are back here after another week break, this time at Mid-Ohio. And this is going to be my first ever race at Mid-Ohio. And uh, I'm pretty excited. Um, I was nervous learning a new track, but uh, I actually found some time to uh, practice quite a bit. And I'm doing okay on time, I think. 127.5 is where I'm at right now. Not at the front. I'm still about a second off the fastest fast guys. But I'm feeling okay on speed. And actually, I'm going to be running with Daniel's race set for qualifying. And uh, that's just because I, I don't think I'm talented enough to get the most out of the Q set. It's a little bit more on edge, which should be faster. But I'm finding that uh, just uh, with my skill level, just like the regular race tape and such, I have a better time accelerating off the corners smoothly and things. So, uh, watch what it said it loads as well. Interesting. I did check it, thankfully. Oh, shoot. I am a moron. I was reading his message. You dingleberry. All right. Get back on track. No one saw that, thankfully. Good thing I'm not recording my race. Anyway. Looks like you're clear on the I blame Nick. I was reading his message. <laughs> that didn't happen. That was just practice. We're going out for real. Let's uh, not crash this time. Focus and stuff. You know, all that good stuff I should have done the first time. Don't need to dash open since I'm just on race set. Um, we've got quite a bit of time to practice or qualify here. Should be able to get a handful of laps in. Imagine that breaking for a corner. I managed to do that this time. Took me thousands of laps to figure it out, but you do need to break four corners sometimes. New track and all, you gotta you gotta cut me some slack here. Run off about a dozen times or so, and then you realize, wait a minute, if I slow down, I might not drive off the course. Crazy. Anyway, let's keep it on track. At least so we can put a lap in, that would be nice. And hopefully even a decent lap. Green flag, green flag. We will get to the line this time and start our first, hopefully fast lap. Try to keep it smooth. Don't need to push all too hard. First I want to get a lap logged and then I'll worry about being a little bit faster. I think that's the best way to do it. Thanks as always to Daniel for a fantastic setup that can keep me between those patches of grass on the sides, then it's probably pretty good, because I'm doing everything I can to drive off. Apologies to him for not utilizing the qualifying setup. It was fast. I ran some fast laps with it, but I'm just kind of choosing to be safe. Oh man, I underdrove that massively. I'm just choosing to be safe, and I go with this. Uh, again, if I have, if I had more experience here, maybe I would be more willing to be on edge, and maybe I could be a little bit faster. But is what it is. Still learning. Like I said, this is my first ever race at Mid Ohio bought the track for this event. Ooh, it did not want to stop rotating there. Okay, that's a nice solid lap. I'll live with that. I'm in the 27s. Sixth place. Your lap time was 127. Sixth place. There are so many freaking fast guys in here, man. It's unbelievable. Just want to try to, uh... Keep up the solid finishes, you know? I feel like I've been pretty consistent in the truck series so far. Haven't gotten the win, and I don't think it's going to happen here today, barring 
meteor meteorotic like apocalypse. I don't know what I'm trying to say. There would have to be earthquakes and tsunamis if I were to win this race. It's basically what I'm trying to say. Meteoric apocalypse are the words I were trying I was trying to say before. I've got that syndrome where I'm like <laughs> unable to use the majority of my brain because I'm driving a course that I'm less familiar with. This is why I can't record the K5 Championship this season on dirt, because I just, I can't talk and drive at the same time. Dirt racing is just so difficult for me. I am not comfortable at all with it, so I don't record those races just because I feel like I would be a danger to myself and others on the track if I weren't giving 100% of my focus to it. And it's honestly hard on me here, even, as you can see as I get sideways. And have a terrible lap. Pushing, I think, is just going to make me slower. P8. I think I'd be better off just uh, trying to hit another decent lap. Because then I'm not overdriving corners. It's probably all, all what's happening there. Let's go ahead and put uh, Session Optimal up, see if we can improve on this current Session's best lap. I know I really like eased through this corner last time. Yeah, look how much time I can gain just by not being a little baby through there. wider than I like to do, like to go that spot. Oh, overdrove that. I'm off the course. Okay, cool. That lap doesn't count either. You see, I try to push and I start crashing. This is exactly what I uh, kind of expected to happen. That's going to be our lap. I killed the tires and I don't have time to go out and do another lap, I don't think. 130 is about, yeah. Stay behind the white line. Prepared to fall back. Yeah, probably. I'm okay with that. That was a decent lap. I got in the 27s. I'll take that. That's about where I run. My best lap here ever and all the practice I did was a 27.3. So a 27.5, right about where I think I could expect to be. So A-okay with that. And uh, if anything I learned, don't overdrive the thing, blockhead. Drive within your limits here, and maybe you won't crash. That is the goal here for this race. Survive my first ever experience at Mid-Ohio. Get a solid finish. That'd Two be cool. Two minutes And uh, be happy with that. I just realized my race lab is not open for some reason. Oh, there we go. I fixed it. Let me make sure this is recording properly. Yes, it is. Okay. That would have been bad if you weren't seeing any of the... Uh, Anyone have an issue with skip form? Nope. <laughs> Let's get this thing over with as soon as possible, Ryan says. Yeah, I also am, uh... Okay, chat a little TMI. <laughs> um, yeah, I think, we think we've all got plenty of practice. I don't think a two-minute warm-up, or, you know, a five-minute warm-up is going to do much for us. We'll get one, maybe two laps out of that. Let's get racing, I think. I agree with everybody else. I think we got some people finishing up their laps. I finished a little bit early because I knew I wasn't going to be able to get another lap in. And my tires were hot and not as sticky as they were right out of the gate. So, uh, we'll take it. I don't think we have anyone not making the show. This is your entire field here. How many we got? We got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 15, 16. Only 25 people. This might be the smallest uh, field so far. So if you look at it that way, that's a decent day. And the points all on its own, just showing up. So that's neat. Nick's going to be skipping warm-up. That's cool with me, like I said. Wow, look at that. Ryan getting a 25, I just now noticed. That is crazy. My optimal just barely gets into the 26s. 
In fact, if I hit my op optimal lap, I'm only two, two spots up. <laughs> so I think this is about the best I could hope for, and that's on, obviously, fresh tires. Wesley going for the high score incidents and qualifying. I got a solid 2x. <laughs> going to try to keep that at 0x for the race. Nick saying he's going to skip the warm-up. No heat, of course, because everybody makes the show. We have qualified P8. And uh, hopefully, guys, around us, everyone's going to be kind of uh, easy, calm, because uh, I haven't raced uh, alongside anyone here yet. And uh, long race, you know, all that good stuff. One to go. Next time by. Except grid as soon as possible. That is what I'm doing. Sounds like a good idea to me. We'll do all time optimal. So, strategy wise, you'll notice 31 ish estimated laps of fuel. Nick giving a little bit of more uh, grid time. I think for people that we're going to use the. Uh, warm up <laughs> like Chad so uh, that's that's fine that's cool all grid up and then go when we're ready to go I think Nick might have done some research on uh, different things he can do with race control because he's pulling out some new tech <laughs> but anyway sorry I got distracted strategy you'll notice 31 laps of fuel stages are 20 40 so I think the plan is, since you can't make it on one stop, uh, pit after the first stage, get the first stage done, that's after 20 laps, go out, do another, another 20 laps, pass lap 40, pit after that, and then go to the end. Now maybe, maybe we could go a little bit longer after the stage 2 ends. In fact, maybe I will do that because we do have a random chance for cautions in this race. Nick is going to be employing the same strategy he used at Coda, where uh, he'll be drawing cards for random full-course yellows. Because that is a thing that happens in real life in Truck NIS, or real-life Truck NIS, real-life Crestman Truck Series. So, uh, and it's not a feature here on iRacing by default. Jake, are you gritting? Jake, uh, starting from the pits, maybe? I don't know. But, that, uh, that way we could have full course yellows randomly, which is more realistic to real life, because that is a thing that can happen to shake things up. So we're just going to have to watch out for that. So maybe uh, the idea is get to... The second stage. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how the truck's feeling. See what other guys are doing. What the traffic around us is looking like. And uh, go from there. Not too much longer here. Yep. Okay. We used that full three minutes, I guess. The anticipation yeah, is boiling over. Reset the tires. That's kind of like right on edge of how many we're going to need to use. So I might have to be smart about when we use the temp is those. The air temp is 74 Fahrenheit. Eighth place. That could really come into play with the random cautions too. Car number zero. You come in and take tires? Who knows? You only got three of them put on. All right. First things first, though, got to survive the first lap and make it through stage one. And then hopefully we can worry about all the other strategy things. Interesting, I've never done this before. We actually got like a full pace lap here. One lap to green. 
Very interesting. Like I said, first time here. Haven't seen that yet. I, uh, I could very well find myself off course just because being side by side it'll be my first time having experienced that. I'm obviously gonna try to avoid it, avoid ending up off course. But gonna be a lot of new situations here so. Wish they would make the pace car pace like a normal pace car. Start doing weird things, it sounds like. I do second gear start if we're going to be rolling at about 50. No reason to be in a rush to get up to uh, Ryan's bumper on the start. If anything, a little extra room would be nice. Man, it is, maybe that's what he's talking about with the pace car, kind of speeding up, slowing down. Or maybe the problem is it's not slowing down, it's kind of just maintaining a pace through even the corners. Very consistent speed, which is kind of strange. Maybe that's what we're talking about. Get ready, going what a nice little tour of the track before we get started, I guess. Okay. Still there, hold your line. Inside lane, much better there. Stay on the right. Clear on the left. Easing in. Car on your left. Keep to the right. That one was nice. Still there. Clear. Something happened back there, it sounds like. No. Gavin maybe had trouble. Trying to pass this guy here. Can't see who it is, but I guess I did by accident. I was just driving. Hit the brakes a little earlier than I expected. Uh-oh, someone lost connection already. Keeping it easy. Don't slide the tires too much. I said don't. It broke sideways on me right when I said don't do it. Hey, we got a little bit of room. That's nice. That is welcome. A welcome sight. And P8. A little bit of tire lock up up ahead, maybe. Is that what I saw? I don't know. Didn't really get the turn in there that I wanted. That's okay. We are just living. Uh oh, smoke. It's a lot of smoke. I don't see any sideways trucks though, so I guess we're good. That was a nice big marshmallow in the air though. Gave me a little bit of concern as I was coming around the corner. 
about what I was going to see. Dylan getting sideways. I think his rear tires are going to hate him if he keeps doing that too much. Just noticed him sideways a couple times already. Keep it smooth. Keep it on the track. I'm off-roading, apparently. Went up all the way on the curb. Oh my gosh. Another big sideways moment. I think both of the guys ahead did that. I thought I saw Ryan in the grass a little bit, but Dylan, definitely. Okay, up right behind him. Got to be really easy on the throttle through this section. The truck gets really light. Same there. Pretty much the whole track, but those are some areas of note for me at least. Feeling okay, we got about a second behind us. Right now we'll gain a little bit, lose a little bit on the guys ahead. Different parts of the track. I think Jake maybe got into Gavin or into somebody near Gavin that Gavin saw for him to park uh, on I don't it. feel so dumb, a lot of us did. There was something that happened back there that must have been a problem. I'm gonna focus on my marks though, instead of thinking about that, I lost time. It takes so much focus, at least for me. There's people that probably can do this while eating a breakfast sandwich. In one hand, you know, I'm not one of those people. I need two hands for racing and for breakfast sandwiches. I hope you're okay with me being a little bit quieter at times, just as I focus on, uh, you know, not crashing and such. Because that's fun. Being able to be out here racing is fun. Not being in a tire barrier is fun. Am I blinking? I just got finished saying I'm trying to focus here. It's telling me I'm blinking. Or, you know, the race control it says abnormal lap, as I assume I blinked. the darndest thing, man. I try not to slide out the rear too much. God, the internet has been so bad lately. I, I'm gonna have to call and be like, hey, I pay for this. Be nice, of course, because the customer service person didn't do anything. But, <laughs> it has not been the quality of internet. <laughs> They want you in single oh. file. Okay. Is closed right Did he now. pull an ace immediately? Huh. Well, oh, we're not pitting. We want track position to get stage points and such. Well, that was quick. Yeah, it wasn't lap five the first lap he would draw a card? I think so. <laughs> That's funny. Well, luck of the draw, we get ourselves an immediate yellow flag. So I guess we'll search around the track for wherever the pace vehicle is. I think we got a truck here today. Pace truck. Ooh! Don't run in the back of the guy yet.
So, uh, if I understand correctly, the ace will not be put back into the deck. So that means our chance for cautions moving forward is actually lower. But, then again, we still have a ton of laps that uh, there will be draws. So, still plenty of chance for it to happen. So that's interesting. Definitely interesting. We got it immediately. But hey, that's pretty realistic, you know? They wreck a whole lot in real life in the truck series, including on road courses, so, you know. <laughs> for it, Darlington, yeah. Gen 4 at Darlington was unbelievably, unbelievably intense. That was wild. This is still pretty, pretty stressful for me, being a completely new track that I have not yet experienced. But still probably not quite Darlington in the Gen 4, at least. We've had some space around us that's helped. We're not going to have it anymore after uh, we restart here, but that's okay. We're going to be in the same spot we started in, still P8. The, pit road is now open. the inside line had a much better time on the initial start, so... The leader, Carwile, is pitting. That's interesting. I want the track position, I think. I think they can make it to the second stage now, potentially, and that's why they're doing that. I like the track position, though. Maybe I should be saving fuel. Definitely don't want to take tires. I only got three sets. And there's a whole lot of laps to go still. So the, those guys that came in, I'm sure they're probably just taking fuel. That says, I can't paste no clue where I am on track. I didn't know he was an IndyCar driver. Or I'm sorry, we can't say that anymore. Uh, C-Class Open Wheel, I think is what it's called now. I apologize for my language. For those that don't know, Indy car and iRacing. Well, iRacing no longer has the Indy car terms. I'm sure anyone that's familiar with iRacing knows that, or is on iRacing knows that by now. But I know there are some people that are not that watch. So yeah, Indy car like NASCAR had it was officially licensed on here, and uh, Indy car re revoked that license to give it to some other game company which shall not be named <laughs> and uh... are you one to green or two to green? We're two to green we're two to green right now mm -mm -mm. assume he was talking to like the front of the field but um... yeah so iRacing can no longer call their IndyCar an IndyCar. Instead, it's C-Class Open Wheel Vehicle. <laughs> uh, is he doing aces this time for the cautions? Like, there's more of a chance for a caution, right? Wait, what is he? I think he removes the ace from the deck. One to go. Behind us now. Line up on the left side. P5. All right, thanks. Wait. I don't know. I'm confused what the question was. But hey, uh, we gain a couple spots. You guys pitting. I would prefer to start on the inside. That's kind of nice. Uh oh. What have we here? What is going on? <laughs> okay, I think maybe the 04 needs to let people by because he entered or exited a closed pit, maybe. But he's probably just, he needs to get to a safer spot to let people by, maybe. I think it's what's going on. So 
Scott, as soon as the pace car goes, I'm going for the green flag. Why is he at the front of the field? I'm really confused. Yeah. I mean, I'm just going to go through pit road. I'll be a lap down, but oh well. That's weird. I don't know if maybe he exited the pits just too late or something, and that's what caused that. I don't get in your, your guys' way. That's really kind of you, man. I'm sorry it's gonna put your lap down. I don't know why it has you there in the first place. Yeah, I was trying to follow Gavin out of the pits. About to go green. Stay focused. Hmm. Very nice of him, though, to let us by. He's gonna follow the pace car, it sounds like, off the course. Pace car is off. Green flag, green flag, you're in fifth. Alright, get going here. Right side, P6. Clear, car right. Never been on the inside there, that was new. On the left, clear on the right. And a little sketchy, but we made it. Easy now. Really trying to over rotate on it. Not as fast as uh, a lot of these guys up here, so I'm not going to try to be. Jake having more trouble apparently. Oh, whoa, okay, easy. Too much throttle. Got really light right there. I think the tires having cooled down is making this uh, truck a little bit uneasy. Need to get a handle on it. Having a little bit of trouble this first lap. Not my greatest effort, but uh, let's get back to it here, hopefully. Get back in the pit. Keep deep. Keep doing. This is spot on. P5. Alright. Lots of space again. I like to see it. That's how I like it to be. Alex might be faster than me back there. I think I'm, I'm almost certain Ryan Carwile is. I think he pit, in fact, so. I'm not gonna hold him back too long, if and when he gets here. More like when. It's definitely feeling lighter. Truck, rather. Feeling lighter in this front. We make it another lap, though. That much trouble. Way too much curb again. Have a real habit of doing that all of a sudden. Too much curb through that corner. Ryan's on his way. I don't think he would have taken tires. 
but he is faster than me, regardless. So might as well treat it like he's got new tires. I think he probably does have better tires. He's probably faster and not as hard on him. Sorry, 35. I got 30. It's all my fault. I'm sorry, guys. Something more happening back there. Ryan on his way to us. We, uh, we can get him by us without losing too much time. For the sake of both of ours, our, uh, our runs here. I'm gonna let you by here, Ryan. Deep to the left, clear on the right. That'll work. Oh, cold turn. Come on, mate, defend your position. I think he has voice chat. Either way, worked out. No reason for me to take risks I cannot handle. Very happy with how I'm running at the moment. Don't want to mess that up. He's going to pass us. No matter what. He's braver on the throttle than I am, that's for sure. You can see him pulling away through some of these corners. Where I'm just not quite as, uh, not carrying quite as much momentum. He's gonna go catch other Ryan pretty much immediately. B6, come on, get your head back into it. Keep it smooth. Focus on these lines. Not that was at 128.9. Got Billy behind us. He's also going to be faster than us, I'm pretty sure. Let him, let him go. If we find the right opportunity. We drove that a little bit. At least here. Not really the too many great spots to let someone buy here. It feels like everything you're driving on is a turn in some form or fashion or a weird angle of a hill. Very topsy turvy track. Give you the right side here. Yeah, all right. Clear. Okay, we'll follow that behind. Come on, mate, defend your position. Just down. making sure it's clear what I'm doing. Make sure there's full communication. Cut a bit of a, got a lot of curb there. I didn't cut, just cut a lot of the curb.
Ooh, they're much better that time. I've been uh, going a little bit too wide there, I think. We've got cloud cover. That could give us some more grip on track. Don't want to test that out too much, though. We'll assume the grip levels are the same and then just get a little extra speed if we just so happen to. Ooh, you do not want to hit that curve there. I've spun out in practice from hitting that curve, so I don't want to make a habit of that. I hope it starts raining. <laughs> hey, that'd be kind of fun. I do look forward to that update. Probably not as much as some other people are, but... I think it'd be fun. I live 30 minutes from here and it's not raining. It could accidentally activate the sprinkler system. And we could have wet conditions. I don't know if anyone brought their wet tires though. But hey, if we uh, race on the wet surface, the tires will get wet anyway, right? And then we'll have some wet tires, but, um, just... here are we. I'm very happy with where I am. I'm in seventh place. We got six and a half seconds behind us. Seventh place here. Got a brand new track for me thrilled. We're coming up on the end of the first stage. And uh, we'll get some stage points out of it. there, making me take a shallow entry into the next turn. I'm going wide here. I am just all over the place right now. This is not a great lap. I need to hit my apexes better. Doing a whole lot of overdriving. As the tires, I guess, get uh, worn away. Probably just need to back it down to match. That was a A little bit of tire spin there, out of the corner. Oof. <laughs> Get it together. Apexes, please. See, that was a little bit better. That wasn't so bad. that so hard at the apex. I'm not really gaining on them, but maybe I'm not losing as fast. I can actually hit my line. He goes a little bit wide there through this final section. Final section is pretty difficult.
got about 15 laps of fuel in this thing. Laps of fuel. Yeah, I'm not gonna make it to 40, unfortunately. It's alright. Uh oh. Almost overdrove that. If I overdrive every corner, did I technically overdrive or did I just drive it normally uh, based on my standards? Get philosophical here. I could underdrive it the next time, which is, by standards, regular driving through the corner. But relative to me, it would be underdriving. I don't have much brains. Oh! Like I was saying, I don't have much brain space, so I need to be not taking up too much of it with stupidity. Because you can see what it can happen. Pretty much perpendicular to the track there a moment ago. That's good consistency. Keep it up. That's not how to be fast. That's how to wreck. We have so much space behind. I do not need to even be pushing, to be honest. If I can't keep up with these guys anyway, what I really should be doing is taking it easier, just not crashing. Stand there, he's all the way down there. Wanted to see who was up in the lead, but now I got a braking zone to worry about. Overdriving that a little bit. Okay, we're still on the solid stuff. Ryan Carwile in the lead. That lap was a 129.9. That makes sense. He's the guy that had the 125, I think it was, in qualifying. He also pit for fuel there, so he can probably make it to the next stage. Maybe. I'm not sure. I didn't really do the math on that. But I assume that's why they pit, is because they could. Hmm. I kind of lost where my breaking point was there. It looks different because we're in such so much shade right now. Kind of messed with my brain a little bit. Kind of one of those consequences of being new to the track. I'm really focusing on like things on off the side of the track to know when I need to start braking. And when they look differently because the cloud cover is making it darker. Makes me kind of make mistakes. That's exactly what I gotta not do, is make mistakes here. I'm not gonna catch you guys ahead. I've got so much room to play with behind. Don't throw away what's shaping up to be a very, very solid finish. I say, as we're only a third of the way through the race, but, you know, if we keep it here. Well, that's it for me. Uh-oh. James has had an issue. Wonder what happened. Get up off course or something. It's too bad.
Wesley says dead. Does he mean he is dead? He must mean he is dead. And now he is zombie commenting. That's unfortunate too. Oh! Woof! Woof! Another sideways moment. We're just driving. We're having a good drive. We're having a nice day. Plenty of room around us to play with. Yep, Wesley, I guess, is dead. He has left the server. Hate to see it. Thompson, I think, catching up to me. He's one of the guys that pit earlier. I had a brain fart that whole corner. I'm like, where am I on track? I don't remember. <laughs> Glad I was going the right speed to not crash. You get race brain, man. When you're out here for so long, just get that fatigue, and you miss one corner, and it's it for you if you miss it bad enough. Whoop. Whoop, whoop. Sideways again there. Rear tires aren't very thrilled with me. I wouldn't say they're angry. Be predictable. Don't try to pull down in front of me. Traffic giving issues. I'm giving myself issues. Oh boy. So, I wasn't really paying attention to the stage, but we did finish on lap 20, lap, uh, in a P7. That was kind of given, that's why I wasn't too concerned about it, because we're not really around anybody else on track right now. So, P7, that's a nice stage finish. Even if I mess this up now, at least we'll have that. Let's not mess it up, though. up on the lap traffic. Man, really lacking grip here. Thank you. Nice bump, let us go. I didn't sound very genuine, did I? I was like, thank you. <laughs> I didn't mean to sound like that. I'm just really focused right now. Got space in front of him behind us. Definitely okay with that. Oh, no! Someone's off course! Can't look at who it is right now. Dylan. Is he? Oh my goodness, he almost came and got me. I just kind of had to trust that he wouldn't do that. Thankfully he didn't. He found a way to get back on safely. But hey, that's a spot for us. I kind of wanted to pit soon. And I think I might. But I'm also worried about that uh, card drawing that's going on. You know how that is. Maybe when uh, Dylan gets back to us, we'll pit. 
So that way we don't have to worry about uh, letting him by or anything. I don't know, I assume he's going to catch me pretty quick. P6. Let me pit this lab, to be honest. So we can't make it to the end or anything crazy like that. Can't even make it to stage two. I gotta do the math though. It's still hard when I'm trying to focus on this. When am I supposed to do this math? <laughs> 67. Oh, jeez. Need to make sure I'm not... Oh! I'm okay, right now. <laughs> it's because of that. Look out for the pit speed limit. Pit lane speed limit is... That might have been stupid. Let's find out. We'll need to stop again to get to the end. Alright. Three, two, one. Right here. Right, it's too early. 92.86. All clear. Punch it. Yeah, we weren't going to be able to have enough fuel to make it to the end, so... Do that, I guess. I don't know. I don't know if that was smart. I, I literally cannot focus on strategy while driving this track in particular. I guess we can keep both our original strategy, right? Despite the caution early? That might be how I have to look at it. So, you know, Caution gave us a couple extra laps on track after uh, the stage. really have to focus here. Oh, he's going in for a pit. Keep a little pit stop. <laughs> oh, trying to get a run there. Went a little higher and there was no grip there, so... I don't know where he's going. Car on your left. Okay, get Fair that on. figured out. Clear. Come on, Colton. Nicely done. It's on me to make the pass clean. As the approaching car, so that's what I tried to do. Man, these fresh tires feel nice, that's for sure.
Alright, we are P10, I believe. You're in the top ten. Alright. So we're still in position to get some stage points for stage two. Ian here in the 67. Colton, go and go on my right side. Left side. Thank Clear. you. Yep. Yep, no problem. Nice one. I didn't expect him to give it to me that early, but we uh, made it work. Hey, I remember this guy. <laughs> Rod. Asked him earlier, he was very kind and let us by. He will do so again. Thanks again to him. They're pretty good that time. You put it away. The gap behind is now 3.1 seconds. Getting up to Ryan here, who was actually kind of catching us, wasn't he? Because we got fresh tires now, we are on his radar now. Okay, Colton, the next car is Thompson. Feeling a little more daring with the car, which um, almost definitely a bad thing. But hey, uh, I'm a little bit feeling a little bit faster <laughs> as I've uh, gained confidence out here. That's almost definitely going to be what ends up leaving me off the track. But for now, it feels fun. I'm having a great time. I actually really enjoy road courses in the truck. It's, it's challenging, but it's a lot of fun. So I've, I've really grown to enjoy it. Even we're on foreign land here. Far off land of Ohio. That I've never been before. I tried to carry more speed through there, though. That just messed me up for the next corner, though. It really wasn't that good of an idea. About to Ryan Thompson here. Interestingly enough, we might pass him, despite the fact that he pit early on, earlier. To get that fuel, he pit on a caution. You've just done a 128.3. Crazy. Kind of crazy, man. Overgrove that a little bit.
Get a little daring with the herbs. Maybe gain now, but they of course will gain on us later after they pit and get fresh tires. So that's something to take note of. That was a 128. I almost took my eyes off the road and uh, drove off the track. I think Ryan had a bit of an issue there too. In a slightly different spot. Around them here. Clear on the left. Well done, Colton. Nice move, mate. Very interesting to see how this shakes out. It really wasn't much thought into when I decided to go into the pits, aside from. Hey, I messed up the corner and I'm kind of over by the pit entrance anyway. Let's pit. So, you know, genius level strategizing there. That's how the greats do it. Scott and the pits just coming out of them, I think. V8. Yeah, he just came out, and he's ahead of us with fresher tires, so I'm not going to be seeing him very long. And we shouldn't, because uh, he is much faster. So it should be. A lot of curb. Careful when we catch Connor here. Uh oh, especially with that going on. Just gonna go Clear around the side. What is going on right there? Clear on the left. Well done. Nice front now. No idea what that the was. I give lots of room because I didn't know what was happening there. D6, you've just done a 130.3. Sector one is not protect. Off the face. Sector two time is good. Sector three is All right. off the face. Where are we gonna end up uh into lap forty? to be seen. Ooh, too much throttle. Turn me to the left bit to catch that. Ooh, 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 getting sideways. Don't like doing that to the tires. 
Guys are starting to get older. It's just how it is. This guy's coming out of the pits. I'm just gonna file in behind Matthias here. Smart about how I do this. Come on, stop. Gavin behind us. He's a lap down though. I was slow for a second because I had to assess what was around me. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Overdriving. Focus on what I'm doing here. Slow car on the inside, that's a dangerous place. Right guys. Clear. That's great. You've got wheel damage. That's great. Thanks. Thank you, sir. Is the truck okay? I think the truck's okay. It said we got wheel damage, which I don't love, but right now it feels fine. I think the truck's okay. Guess we'll survive. got loose. I think it was obviously not negligence or anything on his part. He just had a mistake. And we unfortunately were in the exact destination he had a mistake. But it happens. And we will live another day. As long as we can make it past this lap truck. He left. Hope he doesn't feel too bad. It was an honest mistake. I've been on the other side of that where I like stay so bad about it. But it's not like uh, it was someone being over aggressive and making a dumb move and wrecking me or something. That's the stuff that bothers me. Honest mistake. He was just trying to run an outer line, I think, right there, probably to let me by. And uh, there was probably no grip out there. That's what I'm guessing occurred there. And despite getting the call for wheel damage, the truck feels fine. I don't feel anything differently here. Tires might wear different, differently, maybe, or something. I don't know what's going to happen with it, but as of right now, it's okay. Get a little more grip with the cloud cover. Was at 129.5. I think we're going to be in a good spot here for uh, stage. Yeah, 
So that's pretty cool. I don't think anyone can make it down to the end, even if they went wrong, can they? Maybe they can. Oh, I drove this thing again. Sometimes my foot just pushes on the gas pedal and I don't know why. Ever get that? Like, I know I gotta slow down more for this, but man, my right foot just got so heavy. So we'll go to 40. We'll go a little bit farther than 40. Hit again. And we'll race to the end. I like that idea. We're in fifth place right now. That's awesome. I'm not going to last. Still pretty cool for right now. Heck, the seventh place I was before pit stops all started. Very happy with that. We're gonna lose this spot though, as Brian Leffler, I think you might say that last name. <laughs> He's on his way with fresher tires, much fresher tires, so he will pass us before the stage's over. Hopefully, that'll be it. We can uh, have ourselves a P6 for the stage. on his way like a rocket ship. End of the stage is this lap. Should be able to hold on to this even though we got Dylan coming up pretty fast. And get a P6 for the stage. Another nice little points haul. That 4X has been my only uh, incident so far from the lap car spinning into me. Kind of sucks because 0X otherwise, but at least it's nothing I really had anything to do with. So I can be 0X in spirit. I don't feel like there's any places on this track where you could like be faster by just taking it off track. Could be wrong though. Seems like anywhere you could push too hard, there's grass to catch you, rather than run off space. I don't think you want uh, a 1x if you're going to be in the grass. So we did get P6. After the stage. I think we will pit once uh, Dylan's right on us. That'd be what we do. Leafler, ahead 
Kind of feeling okay. Effects kind of evened out a little bit, it feels like. It's really loose for a while there. Okay, that's a cool little screen flash. We got lightning? Lightning in mid-Ohio on a clear day? That's cool. Sideways. When do we come in for this uh, last drop? Oh. Catching Dan. He's a lap down. Always the chance we get another full course caution, of course. Full course, of course. But there's also the chance we don't. He's gonna let us by. It's nice of him. Clear. Good place to do it with a long stretch here. Saw my internet acting up in the top right. I don't want that. P6. Pit soon? I don't know. Like I said, the truck's kind of feeling fine, but you can see how far we are off of the uh, all time optimal. Yeah, I think we pit soon. Just not going to worry too much about cautions. Just going to go ahead and just do it Nike style. You know what I'm saying? You know how the Nike does it with the do it. <laughs> yeah, Dylan about to catch us. Probably a good time. Good a time as any. Come in a pit. Let's do this thing. Watch your speed limit in the pits. Pit Activate bump limiter. In. in. We'll need to stop again. Five. No, we won't. Three. Stop it, it says. Two. One. Right here. 
A minute 22? My damage is that bad? I don't feel slow. Holy smokes. I didn't know it was that bad. I'm okay. I'm not taking any damage repair. We're, done. Get going. We're fine. Nah, she's driving good. We're on out. I'm out of here. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, spin it. Well, that was a loss of time, but we're okay. Woo, some scary lap truck moments in this race. some speed again. And I gotta be careful of how I use it. Gonna make some more weird noises while I drive. Don't mind me. Find a place to get by him without too much trouble, that's cool. Keep it nice and smooth. Come on, let the race come to us. D7. Well done, mate. That was great. Yep, truck feels great. I think the damage made me faster. I'll be honest, I think it did. Knocked the uh side of the truck just in the right way. <laughs> See how this ends up. I missed the turn in. Not a great corner. The yellow flag is out. I want you in single file. Close. Well, Close. we did Close. just pit. Maybe this turns out well for us. You make it on fuel. Run the tires off. Say, driving in too hard to that corner. What am I doing? Pay attention. I'm getting lazy because it's caution laps. The gap to the behind is increasing. It's now half on the car. Jetstar, 77, car. I think we got a long way to go here. Kevin taking out some cones. Unbelievable. Caught in 4K. Picking out cones. Someone meticulously put those there. Gavin. Now they're going to have to put them back. Watch, they'll be back by the time we get around. Someone had to do that. This is a simulator. That means everything has to be done. Manually. I'm saying I'm just waiting to get around the course here. Long way to go, as predicted. Oh my god. I'm overdriving while doing freaking playing catch up. We might as well still be green right now. 
feel like we might as well still be green right now. We're catching up so long. Yeah, I'd love to try and get a wave around, but I doubt we're going to even be caught up in time for us to beat people out of pit road. That's a good point. Open. And we catch the field in time. The leader, Car I think we just did. Just in time, maybe? Car 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 77, Car. Car 70, got the lucky dog, let them pass on the outside. Pass up 25, Car. Pit road is closed. Behind is pitting. B7. Half about four. Car. How did this work out for us? Very well, maybe? Half about three. Car. I think we're in the lead. Left up 16. Car by. Well, never mind on that wave around, I guess. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, I already pit. I don't know why it put you in front of us, though. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, that doesn't. I think we're going to restart in the lead with essentially fresh tires but guys behind are obviously going to be much faster. These uh, full course cautions on the road have been a little buggy. It was like this at Coda too, a little bit. I wish I could just let them buy me. So obviously they should get the wave around. That's how it's supposed to be. It's weird. It, it, it's got the 20 and the 16 ahead of us. They're fine. They get the wave around. Line up on the left side. You're now in the lead. Oh, we're in the lead. That's weird. And not gonna last. That sucks for Gavin and all the guys that got stuck back there. So that really worked out for us, but who knows how far up the running order we'll actually be able to stay. Definitely not going to be able to hit Ryan Carwile times. It's 125, for example. Oh, don't blink on me. Look at that. Get out of here. Not now. <laughs> Please. I've got myself in a weird spot and I need people to be able to know my weird driving.
I'll we'll just do second gear, I guess. For the restart. Green, we'll focus. maintain 55 until it's ready, uh, until we're ready to go. Post car is off. Green flag, green flag. You're in third. Yeah, but we didn't. The next car's the leader. Car right. Still there, hold your line. Uh, Keep to the left. Right. Sorry, sorry. Clear on the right. Terrible. Never had to enter that first corner like that. Locked up the brakes. I don't think anyone died because of me, but that was not good. So garbage. I'm out of place here. Can't let the nerves get to me. I just gotta hit the laps. Just gotta try to hit some good laps. Oh my god, why am I so bad? Snaps on me again. Holy cow, holy cow. What are you doing? Mega dive bomb. Still there. Didn't seem necessary. Am I really that slow through there, I guess? Still there, hold your eyes. Clear. Gotta hold this together, man. I'm out of place right now. Stop overdriving it, you idiot. Apparently I've been driving in way too soft to this corner, that's what I learned last lap. Oh, I don't know, man. Kind of getting it together a little bit better. Your best 
lap in the session. My best lap, apparently. Holding on to fourth for now. Sorry, I know I'm real silent. I'm really having to focus here. Keep sliding through that corner and it's not very good. Or my health. Or my lap. Man, we still have so much to go to. Kinda sucks now that I know I could have been driving into that one corner way harder this whole time. <laughs> I guess that's what happens when you're new to a course. Oh my god, what's happening to my internet? Oh my god, it's so bad. No, let me survive at least to the end of this race. Oh, it spiked so bad up there. I can't eat, I can't focus on that right now. I really forgot it what I'm doing here. Don't want to be distracted. I'm calling the internet place, man. That's making me angry. Never had any trouble until it started up not that long ago. We are driving away ahead, but we've been able to hold on to fourth for now. I'm going to keep adding for now, because I still don't feel like that's going to last. Matthias gets through there so much faster than I do. This whole section, it looks like. God, that was a terrible slide. That did horrible things to the tires. I know it did. No more drifting through the corners for me, please.
I'm trying to go through here faster because he gains so much on me every lap through there. Oh! Scott goes off. Come on, Colton. Didn't expect that. Half distance. We think about 29 minutes of fuel left. There's no way he stays back there, though, right? I mean, I guess he's got to pass a couple people. Great job. Here you go. Back in third. Keep hustling. He's so much faster. Yeah, I haven't left. Oh, that sucks. He's had a bad day, I think. Suddenly we're in third. Somehow. Trying to improve through this section. Mixed results so far. Don't slide it. It was a little bit scary. It's only point four back. Not that was at one twenty eight point two. Oh, that was bad. Fire spin kills my run off. Got me soon. Right side. It's got me. Still there. Clear on the right. Hello, oh, no. Colton. Come on, mate. Defend He's your always position. been super fast through here compared to me, so it's not really surprising. He picked this best spot on the track, biggest speed difference between us, I think. Too much trouble for him. Did it a little bit there. Tires are giving up. Don't be distracted to defend your position. Try to keep a top five at least. We got a little bit of a gap between Dylan and Scott behind us. Oh boy, this is tough. This is tough racing. I'll drive off the track now. Oh, 
and I started throttling up whenever I had wheel in it. That got me all kinds of messed up. He's right there. Pushing harder than I really should be. When I crash, I'm gonna look back and say, Why was I even pushing that hard? Pitch me sideways. Shifting down there. Oh man, we gotta, at the end of this lap, there'll be five to go. I don't know how I've hung on this long. Oh, cut that too shallow. That was not good. Oh man, what a long race. Ruling. Five laps to go. I think if I can hit my marks, I might have a shot. Hold him off. Holding him off. Easy, easy, easy now. Not if I pitch it. Uh tires not want to grip up there. Yeah. <laughs> Soon as I say, as long as I'm smooth. Of course. I'm gonna break them though. Somehow. Spin. All right, P4. They might even have a battle for the lead going on up there soon. Can't look at that though. Okay, Don't hit that curb. Don't spin it now on a freaking curb or something dumb. Avoid spinning the tires there. 
They're still about a second apart up there. They could still reach each other though. 1.2 apart, I think, is what it's, I last saw. I am terrible through this section. Hey, we got a little bit of room now. I can almost guarantee you I will immediately lose that just because I noticed it. It's just how it works. My wrist, hands. You're being slow through here like usual. going. I aimed in the wrong direction there. Two left to go. Two to go. Entering way too hard to this corner. I can't believe we've held on to fourth. We're actually pulling away now, somehow. Maybe a little, uh, a little eager on the throttle there. I gotta calm down a little bit. I can't believe how much harder I could have been driving into that corner this whole time. Oops. Lead is one second now. I think they might have a finish brewing. Still in behind us, though. So we'll see if he starts gaining on us real fast. Now that he has open track. Oh wow! Last lap, though. I didn't realize we were here. Pull it together, I think we can finish P4. It's insane. A second apart up ahead. It's kind of fluctuating though, as the relative tends to do on road courses. slow through there, but that's okay. We actually have some room to play with, which I still can't believe. He was right on me for so long, it felt like it was a matter of time. 
just waiting for him to get by me. We will just coast it around these final couple of corners for a P4 that's wild. Wow, I can't believe it. First time in mid-Ohio. P4, okay, it's over. Good drive. There's the flag, it's over. Nice run, solid work. Great race, good win, Ryan. Sorry for uh, being a little sketchy on that last restart. That was all good. Thank you. <laughs> that was fun. Wore out, but I'm fine. Whew. I am so happy with that. I just wanted to survive this race. We get P4? Absolutely gonna take that. And a minute 20 of damage. I swear that made me faster, though. How was that a minute 20, though? Look at my truck. It feels. It looks fine. Jake says, apologies to all I wrecked into and dive-bombed. He has a list, I guess. <laughs> That's probably not good. We'll see here in a minute for the incidents. I'm just kind of looking for my damage. I don't really see very much. I can't believe that's a minute 20. I guess I did something with the, uh, like, axle or something, I think is a word that makes sense in this context. We really lucked out with the timing of the caution there, having been just after we pit, and obviously we didn't go lap down, so it really worked out for us. My 1.4x was the lap car getting into me, and uh, I'll take it because I think I got faster. <laughs> so. Special shout out to the guys that got 0x. Almost was there with them. Anyway, we'll see the incidents. Once it loads here. Any day now. Okay, there we go. <laughs> yeah, uh, I can see why Gavin would not be happy with that. Oh, wow, that was pretty bad. He's kind of like jumping around the chat too. Of course, he didn't do that on purpose, but he just absolutely destroys Gavin on the first lap. That is not good. That is not great. That sucks, man. No wonder Gavin left early. He he got wrecked and then got stuck a lap down. What an, what some awful luck he had there. So Nick King just blinking a little bit. A lot of it, maybe. Of course I was too, so who am I to talk? Wesley gets it looped. Tiny bit of the wall. He should be okay though. Gavin just on pit road fixing it. Oh, this was during the caution. Early caution. At least he was able to fix some of it, stay out a little bit longer, I guess. King's still blinking. We're back green. Wow, okay. Yeah, he, uh... Jake made a habit of it this race. He's having a rough one. Lap 11. Oh, Wesley gets, uh, does the thing. He did the thing this time. And then just gets in the grass, and now we got a couple people all cut up. You just, you gotta run extra careful, you know? Uh, when you're in a group like that, I always back start lifting off the throttle way earlier. Just easy lifting off, so that way I can see whenever they start braking, and I can make sure I can match it. James, just a little loose. Barely touches the tire barrier. That's nothing. 22, of course. Driving uh, off road. <laughs> hey, he kept it this side up though, so. Not too bad there. 
Alex loose on throttle into the grass. Nick's blinking. First time we've seen John, he just gets a loose on the throttle and there gets a piece of that barrier. Alex gets the snap loose. That's one of those elevation change spots where it's really easy for that to happen. Is that the same corner? No, that's not the same corner, is it? I don't know. James got it, whatever a corner it was. Wesley gives up. You can see he just throttles it up after drifting off the track. And uh, that's when he said dead, probably. D-E-D -E -D dead. 22, finding some slippery stuff. Harmlessly through the grass, though. Ooh, that looked like an extra shift, maybe. He might have uh, shifted to first, or even, uh, I don't know, neutral even, I don't know. Or, uh, whatever, you know, you know what I mean. But, uh, snaps on him. Dan gets loose, Jake into the back of him, they sort it out though, 22 going off. Struggling a bit. Oh, I remember this. We were coming up on this, and I'm like, oh, God. Yeah, honestly, that uh, bend on lap 52. <laughs> yeah, I, I was at that point, I'm like, dang, I can be driving in so much harder there. Yeah, no, no worries. It shocked me at the time, and I'm like, what the heck? <laughs> Wanted to get past her, really. yeah, <laughs> makes sense. No worries. On the restart, I meant, but he knows what I mean. But uh, here's this little bit of a scary moment. Uh, I think Connor maybe saw that and was just like, nope, I'm taking my pit stop right now. Yeah, <laughs> for the 50th time. That solid top five. Yeah, he still got it in the uh, top five, so. Yeah, so Connor just takes the uh, inside there. Sorry, I'm kind of getting distracted. That's what happens. You talk after the race with other drivers. You can see I left a bunch of room here. I'm gesturing towards my screen like you can see that brickhead over here. Rod ends up off the track. 